Hi everyone, this is Han Bong Kim from Good Task. On this video, I'll explain details about board view and others that's been added on update version 6.4. Getting things done is the key focus area that Good Task tries to be in part of. While the user does the work to get things done, Good Task can take multiple roles along the way. One big role is to provide various ways to view tasks. This will let you see the things the way you want and help you plan the way ahead. Good Task provides powerful features like smart lists and day, week, month views on every list, which gives you multiple ways to manage your tasks. And now with board view, it'll get a big enhancement on this area. Board view on Good Task works on every list. You can toggle between previous lists view by tapping this button at the bottom left. Lists view will provide list, day, week, and month views like before. New board view will provide date, priority, list, and tag types. Date type will show you each day as a board. Default is set to have today, tomorrow, later, and no due date boards. You can change settings to have more days if you want inside settings, general, board view. Tapping plus button on each board will add a task according to that board. If you turn it off and have contextual list option turned on, bottom plus add button will add a task according to the board on iPhone. Boards can be moved by swiping left and right. You can also tap this dot at the bottom to move quickly if you have many boards. If you have list memo, it'll be shown on left side. Tapping date at the bottom while on date type will scroll the board back to initial board. It can be set to move to next board in settings if you like it that way. Empty boards can be hidden for each types too. If you prefer hiding empty boards, you can do it per each type. Having it on could be useful if you want to drag and drop to move tasks or use new keyboard shortcuts that's been added on this update which will be explained later. Priority type will show you tasks by priorities. The order can be changed in settings. You can choose from three types. List type will show you tasks by lists. This will be useful on smart lists which have multiple lists inside. Tag type will show you tasks by tags. You can now set tags per smart list inside sort options. By setting this, tag type can be used in various ways. For example, you can set to do, doing, done, and manage your task that way. Or you can divide tasks into projects or areas. This can be very powerful. Task detail page has changed on this update. Now it'll open a separate view. On Mac, it'll be shown a separate window. On iPad, you can move between lists, tasks, and boards with arrow keys. Enter key will open task. Escape or command dot or command enter will close the task. While task is shown, you can use command up and down arrow to move between tasks. Command 0 will let you toggle between list view and board view. Command 1 to 4 will let you change types. Command left and right arrow on board view will let you move boards. While a task is selected, you can command control arrow to move tasks. This will be very useful to move tasks around boards. It will also work on list view to move up and down the list. Command L will show or hide left pane. To add a task on a board, use Command Option N. It'll set values to board that currently selected task is on. General view option is added. You can set default view per smart list which can be list, day, week, month, and newly added board views. 
Previously, if you have moved to certain view, it was preserved while moving around lists. Now if you set general view inside settings general page, it will open all the lists with that view if default view for list is not set. Mac version has similar updates like iOS version. You can toggle between lists and board view with command 0 or by clicking button on top toolbar. Command 1 to 4 will change types. Left and right arrow will let you navigate through tasks and boards. Command left and right will let you move to show the boards. While task is selected, you can command control arrow to move tasks just like iPad. While task is selected, you can press enter or double click to open task detail page. You can press escape key or command D to close it. If you press enter, focus will move to main window and you can navigate with the task detail page opened. All other keyboard shortcuts will work as before such as command slash to add a new subtask, command L to show hide left list pane, command enter to open quick actions. Okay, this is it for today. Hope you enjoy the update. Get it done with good tasks. Thanks.